Welcome back everyone. Today we are taking a journey with the Kafka and Terraform to the next level. We have previously set up Kafka on your local machine and got Terraform installed. Now we are delving deep into the Kafka topics and how to with Terraform to manage them efficiently. So let's understand Kafka topics. What is a Kafka topic? Picture it as a virtual channel where messages are flow from producer to the consumer. Here, key concepts are partitions, replications, and retentions. What is partition? Visualize partitions as a organized logs within the topic. Facilitate efficient data handling. And more partitions meet enhanced parallelism, but come with increased resource demands. And replication factor. It determines the number of copies of each partitions for data resilience. Typically sets at least to two to safeguard against the broker failures. What does that mean? For example, if we have uh, three brokers and we set a replication factor to two, that means if any one of the broker, uh, the, the data will be the partitions will be copied or you not know, duplicated to the brokers. So if any one of the broker failures, you know, still we we'll get the data. We don't have uh, any issues. Why? Because we already set the replication factor and retention po policies. Retention policies uh, specifies how long Kafka retains a message in the topic. Let's dive into the code. To, to begin, we need a Terraform provider for Kafka. We'll utilize the open source provider by Monge Kafka. This is the official documentation for this uh, Monge Kafka. And I'll keep the link in the description. Open your proper code code, uh, code editors like Visual Studio. I use uh, VS Code. And now create a file called main.tf. So first start the Terraform providers, mentioning the required providers. What are the required providers is Kafka provider. So let's initialize the provider. First of all, we need to uh, set the bootstrap brokers, bootstrap servers. So make sure uh, we run our local Kafka server. If you're not yet install the Kafka servers or Kafka in your local, please watch our previous videos. So I'm setting up the TLS enabled to false. Why? Because uh, I didn't uh, enable the TLS in my local. Once we set up the provider, let's create a resource. A resource is a Kafka topic. So name of the topic will be sales topic. And replication factor. I'm setting the replication factor to uh, re replication factor to one because I'm running it in a local. I, I don't have uh, multiple brokers running. I have only one broker running in my local. So I'm setting up a partitions to three. And configuration, coming to the configuration, uh, we have a documentation, clear documentation for the Kafka configuration variables. Uh, most of the values, I'll, I'll keep it as uh, uh, default values. So you know, cleanup policies, uh, compression type, deletion retention, MS in um, deletion retention in uh, milliseconds. So we'll set uh, as of now the no, return cleanup policy and deletion retention MS. So that's it from the coding. Okay, let's uh, start running this. First of all, 
initialize terraform init Yes, its initialization is done. Once it's initialized, it will create uh, in a lock files and all, and it downloaded the Terraform provider, Kafka provider, from the registry. So let's plan. Let's see the plan. So if you see, it, it's going to create a uh, one topic that is called a uh, sales topic. So let's apply. Yes. Apply complete. So the topic has been created. Let's see. Let's list the topics. Yes, the sales topic is being created. You are now equipped with the knowledge to manage Kafka topics seamlessly using Terraform. Stay tuned for more advanced tutorials and don't forget to like, share and subscribe for future content. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Happy managing.